Max. What do you think of the drive? Thanks for the test drive. Of course. I really like it. I really like that sound of that V12, but I want to see what else you've got in the showroom. Let's go inside. Let's go. So let's have a look inside your showroom to see if there's anything else I can test drive today. Sure. So Let's I've already go. featured this on the channel, AMG GT Black Series. This is, you know, this is a Project One edition, so this one's a little bit more collectible. Is that what those stars are hand on the painted, side? Hand-painted stars. These are hand-painted? Yes. Oh, wow. So this is pretty special. This is, uh, I believe, one of about 20 for the US. Okay. Um, only Project One owners who ordered that car were able to get allocated this car as an option. Um, so the original owner of this car was a Project One allocated uh, customer, which oh, so is pretty cool. So these are special. Special cars, yeah. And now you've got Three SF90s. Three SF90s, all pretty unique specs. Red, red with black. This I'd say would be the most common, yep. but still a really nice clean build. A really unique purple. What, do you know uh, what the color of that is? We'd have to look and see, but this is a super unique purple. I believe it's the only one in North America in this specific color. Oh, wow. Which is pretty cool. The only one in North America in this color? Well, I haven't seen this color in the UK. And two on the, the two on either side have got carbon wheels. Correct. Oh, I've never seen this. Can we show this on camera? Yeah. The car has two different colored seats. I've seen on Instagram cars like this. I've never seen them in person. Okay, so I've just seen something I've never seen in my life. What is that? This is a Tesla Cybertruck. This is a uh, foundation edition. I've never seen one of these. Yeah, one of the early spec ones. So this is one of the first 2000 uh, it's enormous. Cybertrucks made. It is, it it's is. A, it's enormous. It is, it's huge. So what's this doing in here? You're selling this? We're selling this, yeah. I didn't even know they'd really come out yet. We've already sold one. This is our second one that we got in. Uh, it's a foundation edition, so one of the early trucks. It's a dual motor. Right. Um, it's pretty cool. It's so exciting. this is nothing like a Tesla X. Correct. Right, because I turned up completely. today in a, in a Tesla X. What's different? It's got rear wheel steer? It's got a bunch of new stuff. So drive-by wire, rear wheel steering, um, obviously, the, the metal bodywork, uh, completely different Stainless chassis. steel. Stainless steel. It's actually, it's actually a special steel that they came up with yeah. for the truck. Yeah. So it's a unique steel that Tesla produced. Uh, Do you have a gun? Can we shoot at it? I, uh, maybe, maybe not. We can't shoot at this one, yeah, but yeah. Uh, you know, if we find another one, maybe with some miles on it. Right. We can have a few shots. Maybe we can do some shots. What about a yeah. hammer? If, if I've we seen had, people I don't have a hammer with yes. hammers. So what's the idea? Is it that if you dent it, you can replace the panel cheaply or they can repair it cheaply? Which it's one? It's supposed to be more of, I think it's supposed to be more resilient to like, I guess damage uh, right. or things that you might encounter over time. But supposedly it isn't, it's not that difficult to replace the panels. And, and how heavy is this? It must so be really heavy. So these are pretty heavy, heavy. Yeah. yeah. It's, I believe it's somewhere between six and 7,000 pounds somewhere in that range. And it still goes to naught to 60 in about two and a half seconds, does yeah, it? Yeah, the Cyber Beast version. So the, yeah, the tri-motor one will do zero to 60 in about Oh, this is the dual motor. This is dual motor. So right. there's one with a tri-motor and one with a dual motor. Yeah, this one's still very fast. It's it's still extremely quick. So this one has a huge screen in the front huge as well. Huge screen in the front as well. Yeah, 18 yep. inch, I think. Yep. 18 inch, and then Different a nine inch wheel. in the back. Yeah, it's got, the, it's got the small screen in the back. Uh, all the new S's and X's, 3's, they all have the, the rear screen. So what's the idea behind this? Is it meant to be a truck or is it just a cool SUV? I think it's kind of a mix. It's supposed to be practical. A lot of the practical kind of benefits of a truck. Right. But then in addition to that, you also have kind of all the benefits and perks of a Tesla, right? And they've sold out. They've Yeah, they're. I think they have 2 million orders. 2 so, million orders? Yeah. 2 million orders? It's crazy. No. Yeah. So you said that I could take anything out in the showroom. Whatever you want. You're true to your word. I yeah. can take anything. Whatever you want. Can I take out the Tesla? Yeah, of course. Really? Yeah. Let's go for a ride in the Tesla. This thing is a beast. Look, it's bigger than me. Look. Well, most things are bigger than me, but what's the key look like? Key's a little far. Let me show you. Let's have a look at the key. It looks like it looks like a military vehicle with these wheels. How big are these front wheels? I believe these are 35. 35? This, so is key. this is the key. This is the key. That's the key. Because I can't see it. I guess this is the light here. It's all blended in. There, look at that. Wow. It looks like something from Back to the Future. It really does. Look at this. So let's take it for a spin. So we are in the Tesla Cybertruck. So I've heard that 0 to 60 is 2.6 seconds. This one's a little bit slower because it's dual motor, but it's still pretty quick. We've put it into sport mode now, right? We're in sport mode. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> That's 
That's ridiculous. It's still pretty good. For a big truck, That's it's ridiculous. still good. Wow. For almost 7,000 pounds, that's fast. You know, so I've been driving the Tesla X for the last four days and this feels a little bit tighter to me. You know, the build quality feels better. Definitely. Wow. I mean, it's unbelievable the way it it's, handles, it, right? It pulls hard. It's like a sports car. It really is. <laughs> and it's almost 7,000 pounds on 35 inch this tires. This is crazy. It's nuts. It's crazy. It's this is nuts. and this is a truck, right? Oh yeah. It's called a cyber truck because it's a truck. So people that need a truck for work can buy this. Yeah. Because it's got a huge amount of space in the back, which we'll show people a bit later. And it also goes off road. It does. So you can raise it, I think, 16 inches off the ground. Yep. So we can turn right because it's uh you can turn right on the red yeah. in, in America, right? right? In America, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It's, it's a little bit um odd you know for an Englishman to turn right on a red light but there you go so the very big differences are that this has drive-by wire right so I guess that means you don't need a steering column correct what, what are the other advantages of drive-by wire so there's actually a few things it says uh, potential to increase efficiency better steering combinations which obviously you're gonna talk about too about the just the craziness of the steering and then obviously different cockpit designs too, because you don't have that mechanical linkage. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty cool. It's a it's a very unique feel um, steering the car, and then the variable steering as well with the four wheel steering is right. it's super tight. We're gonna we're gonna test it. Yeah. We're gonna test it here. Here we go. We are on a tight turn here. It's a green light. So we're gonna turn. Here we go. And oh my gosh. Is it's that a bit crazy weird, right? <laughs> it's a bit weird that steering. You have to hold on to the steering wheel when you're turning it. Oh wow, that was amazing. I wouldn't even try that in a sports car. I know. How it crazy is a sports that? car wouldn't do that tight yeah. turn. God, that's unbelievable. But it reminds me in London you have black taxis and they have the same. They have an amazing turning circle to get around London streets. So when they turn, they do that. They just like turn back on themselves. That's wild. It's wild, right? I mean, what they've really done is just thrown all the new technology at this car, right? Yeah. Thank you for but letting me drive it. Of course, of course. What's the sticker price? Sticker price, so I think sticker on this car, I believe was 106 for a foundation right. uh, dual motor. Um, so very affordable. Yeah, really not that expensive for what it is and all the new technology. It's it's pretty reasonable. And you've got a premium on this because you can't get hold of them. Correct. Yeah. They're how long is it going to be till you can't get hold of them? Like, what's the waiting list? Well, that's the thing. So supposedly two million reservations. I mean, even if let's just say twenty five percent dropout, that's still you know one and a half million. Yeah. Vehicles to get produced. And, so, and, but you said you've ordered one. I have one on order. I ordered one the first week they announced it. I still haven't gotten a phone call or an email. So. You've got no idea when it's coming. No idea. No clue. Okay. okay. So maybe mine comes in a few months. Maybe it'll be another year. So seeing as you've ordered one, you're the perfect person to ask the question. Why have you ordered one? Because it's not a car. It's not an obvious choice to have as a car. Definitely. Definitely. So yeah. Why so why did you order one? You know, I wouldn't normally be a truck buyer per se. That's normally not my cup of tea. But this is just so futuristic. It's got all the really good new tech, which I love. Um, but it's super practical too. You have a ton of space here on the inside. You got a ton of storage room down here. Back seats offer a ton of room. So what we haven't told people is there are no rear, there's no really rear view mirror here. Yeah, it's so a little baby So you've got it on the screen, which is a bit weird, right? Do you, you know, know what I love doing? What? Three point turn. I know, right? <laughs> look at that, look at that, look at that. Is that crazy? <laughs> and accelerate. And it rips, it rips. It's even so above, fun, it's even, so much fun. Even above 60, I mean, it just pulls. I, I wanna tell people that are watching, like we pulled up to swap over drivers and everybody stopped. Oh yeah. People people stopped in their cars to take photos. Oh yeah. So that's like, you know, that's a massive testament. Like it's striking, oh, it's, it's futuristic. There's nothing else like it. Yeah, well, a lot of people that have ordered them haven't driven them, right? No, they haven't. So I'm, I'm very lucky. Yes, one of the early people to drive one. <laughs> so people watching this video, if you've ordered one, well done, because it's amazing. So we've spent a few hours with this really incredible creation by Elon Musk, the Tesla Cybertruck. But before we end the video, I want to show you some really unique features 
on this truck. So first of all, where do you think the charging point is on here? Because there's no openings at all. Well, it's here. Check this out. That's the charging point. Another thing I want to show you is this rear wheel steering. Watch this. So the back wheel is turning this way and the front wheel is turning this way. That's the four wheel steering. And that's what gives you that amazing turning circle. Another amazing feature on this is the luggage space. Check this out. So all of this in here is the luggage space. We're gonna open it here. And we're gonna, so it's all electric, this cover. And then you open the boot here. Look at that. Look how much space you've got in there. Why would you ever drive around in something ugly like a truck when you can drive around in this? And not only does it have storage space in the back, but it's actually got a front trunk as well. Check this out. Because obviously the batteries are underneath, so there's space here in the front. I mean, it's not a huge amount of room, but it's more room than I have in my Alfa Romeo 4C. I, I'm absolutely blown away by this Tesla Cybertruck. I want one. Everyone that has seen us filming today has stopped to check it out. It's really, even, she just said that's hot. <laughs> she, was she talking about me or, or the Cybertruck? Anyway, fantastic car, we love it. Thank you so much to H Greg Lux who have allowed us to film this car. I think we're gonna head back there soon to do some more filming. In the meantime, please don't forget to subscribe, press the notification button, we'll see you soon.